Hi and welcome. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We will be, of course, taking our communion together. So make sure that you have your bread and then you have your wine or your juice ready. We're going to be sharing a word together and then, of course, we'll be taking the emblems. This was recorded live online. So from our house to yours, welcome to Come at Home. It's really, uh, really nice to have everybody with us tonight for communion. We've got a very special guest speaker tonight, uh, and uh, we are very, very pleased to have him. Now, normally on a Wednesday, he started learning or te teaching the Spanish, uh, and as the building's been used tonight, I thought I'd use him anyway. And he's going to share with us just a message, um, message from Scripture, uh, and then we are going to take the uh, emblems together. So, Jorge, I'm going to hand straight over to you. Um, go straight into your message it'd be really really good to hear you so make sure you're unmuted before you start speaking otherwise it'd be be a bit of a waste so bless you mate okay uh good night everyone god bless you uh, i have a small message here okay which i wrote a couple of days ago well a couple of weeks ago i would say <laughs> okay it's about god's will and uh, the first scripture I'm going to share with you is 1st of John 2, 17. It says, the world and its desires pass away, but whoever does the will of God lives forever. The only things that will last forever are the things of God. Okay. You see that the world is passing by, our days are flying by, and one day we will leave the earth as we know it. You see, we are not citizens of earth trying to get to heaven we are citizens of heaven just passing through earth this world is not our home okay so i'm gonna ask a couple of questions as uh what are you living for okay what are you living for right now are you living for the pleasure of the flesh or for the joy of the spirit are you living for the praise of men or for the glory of God? Are you living for today or living for eternity? Are you living for the things that can be seen or for the things that cannot be seen? Okay, so those are questions that are very uh, you know, important for you to ask, what are you living for? You know? One of these days, this old world with its imposing cultures, its proud philosophies, self-centered intellectualism and godless materialism is going to be forgotten. But those who do the will of the Lord will live forever. Now, um, I'm just gonna ask you to um, take a tour of your home. Just look around, you know, look at all the things that you have in your home. You know. um, if everything you see, you know, in every corner of your home, everything you see were taken away. Everything that you have, even even the the, the seat where you're sitting at, <laughs> even if even 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 imagine the, the the iPad, the phone, the TV, everything that it's uh, it's around you. Okay, if everything was taken away from you, will you still do God's will? Okay, so. Uh, this, this, this uh, is a very short message that I, that I want to share with you, you know, because everything that we do, we have to think always that we do it you know, to glorify our God, to be with, with him, because we have to um, you know, search for that goal to live forever with him. You know? So, um, and if you're gonna do that, if your plans are to live forever with God, you know, you have to follow God's will. So I'm going to end up with this uh, scripture, Matthew 6, 19, 21, 19 to 21. It says, do not store up yourselves treasures on earth where moth and vermin destroy and where thieves break in and steal. 
but store up yourselves treasures in heaven where moth and vermin do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Amen to that. So uh, thank you. Thank you Amen. for your- uh, Bless for you. Your That's great. Listening. That's great. Thank you so much. And it's always a good reminder that the things of this world are temporary. Uh, as as good as they look and you know even now the things that we buy don't last as long as they used to uh, and that even those things that are supposed to last for a very long time won't last forever and what does last forever is the things of God as Jorge said so beautifully in that it is as we come to the communion table it is a reminder that what Jesus did when he gave up everything to come to earth to fulfill the father's purpose of saving those who are lost that is it has an eternal purpose the the communion is a reminder that of, of the eternal purpose of jesus of the father and of the holy spirit to redeem the world back to himself where things have been lost because even the things of this world that look so beautiful and wonderful will not last for eternity it will have to be renewed and they will be renewed in him so as we got uh, our bread and our wine, as we take those things together, we are reminded so powerfully of the message of the gospel, that we are saved, delivered, healed because of the cross, because of what Jesus has done, and those things are eternal. And so as we take the bread together, as you take your, your bread, we're going to give thanks and break it because that was the purpose of what when Jesus laid it out with his disciples. He, he broke the bread and he asked them to do this in remembrance of him. And we take this knowing that although his body seemed to die and be in the grave for three days, it rose again. And in that resurrection body, he reigns eternal. And so, Lord, we thank you for the bread. We thank you that we live for eternity, that what you have done for us we remember and as we break this we know that your purposes although the bread is broken you are not and the bread and the purposes of eternity are not broken the world may seem broken but you and your purpose are not so we bless you for this in jesus name amen and as we take the bread as we take, take the wine and or the juice together we are again reminded of the sacrifice things that jesus paid he paid his life that was a, a you know when, when you do look around when you look around just in front of you being on this video call right now we know that you know if those things were taken away how would we live how would we be would we you know would we think that's it our lives are over but jesus gave up everything not only that he gave the bl very blood that brings us life the blood of the new covenant and that is eternal it will never fade never lose its power so whatever you need in him through the blood of jesus today receive it because he has done an amazing work and his blood has never lost its power so lord we thank you for the blood that was shed we thank you for the life that you gave that we whatever we give up in this life it is never lost help us to remember that the treasures, treasures on this earth are only temporary. They are not worth striving for. They are not worth giving up our lives for. But your message, your gospel, your purpose is worth everything because you gave everything for it to save us and redeem us. So we thank you for that redemption. We thank you for that blood that was shed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So as we come to the end of this part of our time together is just a reminder that on Sunday we've got Mark Beswick who uh, will be joining us he's a great worship leader and, and speaker and uh, he's, he's joining us for a live so it will be going out uh, live online as well as in the room but there be, there's nothing like being together with the people of God in the room so that was going to be exciting so we look forward to seeing you on Sunday.
on One more time You are God alone From before time began You are God And right now Phone. You are God alone. Yeah. One more time. You are, you are God alone. From before time, He's always been there. You are, you are God alone. And right now, in the good times, and you are on your throne. Yes, you are, Lord. You are God. 